Hey guys and welcome to the first easy expired domains setup tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how quickly and easily you can install and get using easy expired domains. So I have the setup file here which has just been downloaded from the easy expired domains uh, members dashboard. So all I'm going to do is double click it and you'll see you get the, the prompt here, the verified publisher, so you know it's a genuine file. From here you have just a basic setup file here. So I'm going to click next. Here you see we have a notification of how the stats were accurate at time of checking, but obviously the stats are changing almost constantly, especially um, with Majestic. So before you make any purchases, just be sure to do some due diligence and actually check the stats uh, just to make sure that the domains do have the, the stats that are important to you. Okay, so read through that. Um, if you agree, click next. And then again, this is just where it installs to. Um, uh, installing here just means that you don't need to give it any admin rights. So, you, you know, you can be sure that everything's fine. Again, click next. And then it's final confirmation. Just click start and then it installs. You see it's very quick to install. That was all in real time. None of that's been cut out. And uh, there's an option here to launch Easy Expired Domains. If you leave that checked and then click exit, it shall install it. Sorry, it will start up the software. Okay. Now I can see it's uh, fairly quick to start up. Now here we have the main controls. I'm not going to go into too much about the filters or exporting. I'll cover that in another video. I'm just going to show you how quickly you can start searching. So the main controls here are the search keyword. You enter in whatever keyword is important to you. Say you have a website about cars. Simply type in car, hit search, and then you'll see down here the progress bar is moving and it's saying working and there we go. Straight away, 10,000 domains every single one of them they might not all be to do with the cars obviously you've got um, credit card one there you've got carpet cleaning but all of these domains are based on the comnet org biz or info tld and they have car within the name of the, the domain as you scroll across you see we've got all these different stats here all already checked you've got the the top level domain that it's on the length of the domain minus the the top level domain whether it contains letters numbers hyphens you've got your majestic stats the important majestic stats anyway you've got majestic links referring domains citation flow trust flow the ratio of citation flow to trust flow and then you have the topical trust flow or the the first three topical trust flows so you can go through and if you're predominantly interested in motorsports you could even filter by that and then you see that you've got those there now scrolling across we have the moz stats here we have links domain authority page authority moz rank moz trust and moz spam okay and you don't need any other services i'm not hidden any setup here this has gone right from um, starting the installer to installing the software to doing your first search all within you know a few minutes okay so as you can see it's incredibly simple to use software you can obviously uh, make the the list larger smaller you can you know expand the the window however you see fit um, I don't want to go too much into the different settings because they will be covered in a different video so there it is incredibly simple yet powerful software as you can see within a few seconds of using the software i've got 10,000 domains all with my car domain and if you want to do another search you simply just stick in another keyword and again within a few seconds there we've got 1500 domains for that and you know you can remove all the domains if you want to separate out the different searches okay so there's a lot of control it's very simple to use but there's a lot of control so you can get exactly the domains that you want and uh, you know I'll show you quickly here are the different filters so if you wanted to filter out um, domains say you don't want any hyphens in it or you don't want numbers or you want a specific citation flow or anything like that the, the choice is yours so there we go very simple to use very powerful if you're just wanting to get lots of domains for specific niches this is a great way to do it 
okay um, I will be doing more videos on using these filters and showing you how to sort and um, sort the domain list and things like that in other videos so be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified of when they go live um, okay so this is Jim from easyexpireddomains.com and hope to hear from you soon thanks very much bye